it's been a while. A real long while. Uh, I forgot what we're up to in Revelation. It's not the right time to read. We'd only done two. Um, I can't remember. I just forgot. I forgot. And then for the past few days, this camera hasn't been working. And I don't really want to do it on my phone. So I'm sorry about that. But as you can see, I've got glasses. I need them for reading. So since we're about to be reading this, i put them on. Also good for the screen. Um, hopefully I'll wake up in time tomorrow. Um, but I can say this, I've actually been waking up better. Like, I haven't done this for other reasons. Like, the fa past few days it's mainly been actually getting this up. But then there's also been a few times where it's like, uh, people are here and I've been I'm on front. So I'll try and get better at actually just getting up and doing it. But I have actually... My sleep has both been getting worse and better. I am back on ADHD medication, back on my NC, and I have a regular schedule because I, I know I need to be up by 8 and take the lot NC, and I've actually been doing that, which has been good. But I haven't been getting to sleep before like 1. And I had actually gotten it. Two twelves on a bad day before, so um, that's fun. Let's hope I'll go to sleep at twelve tonight. Um, yeah, so that, that's just a I really can't remember when the last time this was, but let's just get into oh, wait, this is actually a thing I need to say. Probably last time I would have gone to record it would have been just before I meant to make this announcement and it didn't work out because I forgot um I'm doing the ponytail chop so like in like a few weeks I'll just be cutting all of that off um I'll put a link to um the donation page if you want to donate because if you do donate um and the donations reach a certain point I will just dye my hair stupid colours. Uh, do I know why I'm dyeing my hair stupid? Because it kind of sounds fun and also it encourages you. You'll see my hair dyed stupid colours. I, I, I didn't, was, weren't able to figure out a way that you could vote on it, otherwise I would have done that. Um, it, it, if you could vote, you vote to dye my hair really crazy colours instead, I'll just try and make it look as horrible as possible. Um, I don't know why I determined that to be the best motivator. But in my mind, that was. So if, yeah, um, want my hair to look horrible? Um, yeah, donate. Um, so yeah, donate pale to all the donations go to cancer. Um, that, by the way, that's the main reason it's, um, the ponytail chop is happening because I'm actually donating. Like, part of the donation is me donating this hair uh, and go make cancer wigs and stuff. So yeah, I actually did this a few years back. I actually did this a few years back. Um, and I didn't, uh, I've gone one haircut since then. So like it's been nearly three years and this is how much my hair's grown. And it was cut to like here or whatever. So I'll just be sending it all away. Um, yeah, so that's a, Thing. Um, that will be happening. So let's get into Revelations. Um, chapter 3. Uh, to the church and Sadius. And to the angel of the church and Sadius, write the words of him who has seven spirits of God and, se and, the se and seven stars. I know your works. You have a rep the reputation of being alive. But you are dead. Wake up and strengthen what remains and is about to die. For I have not found your works complete in the sight of my God. 
Remember then what you received and heard. Keep it and repent. If you will not wake up, I will come like a thief. And I will not and I will not know what hour and, and you will not know what hour I will come against you. Yet you will still have a few names in Yet you still have a few names in Sidious. People who have not soiled their garments, and they will walk with me in white, for they are worthy. The one who conquers will be clothed thus in white garments, and I will never blot his name out of the book of life. I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. What? Angel of the Church. Right. It's written to the angels of the churches. He's being told what to write, but it's John's perspective that he's writing. Because technically we are adopted, but it's also supposed to be a message from God? Is he not the one who conquers? But like at the same time, I didn't feel like the one who conquers was God. Like I didn't get that feeling from the other ones. But the, the confess before his name, and he who has ear, let him hear. And I will never. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm gonna say this right now. It most of the he's are capitalized in this. Um, and, and normally that's a sign that we use he. Him as a kind of, uh, in the Bible, he, him is kind of used as a non-gender word, especially if it's capitalized, especially in reference to God. God uses a lot of male, masculine naming words like Lord, King, Father. Like, th those are masculine. So we use he, him because that's the best pronoun we can give it. Because, like, some people go like, oh, we use all pronouns because it's God. God doesn't have a gender. But, like, at the same time, we're like, oh, but he's definitely genders the words that he's saying but then patriarchal society i guess if it was a monarchy side or would he be using female terms and it's like possibly yes that it's quite accurate so like but at the same time he doesn't prescribe our idea of genders we just decide to use that because that's the closest equivalent he has to our language and we definitely know jesus who went by he him so it's like uh, might as well we do kind of capitalize it meaning <laughs> Me, it's he, him in the sense that there is no gender attached to it, which kind of makes sense because it wouldn't necessarily be gender ambiguous, it might be more gender ambiguous, but the idea is that it is a position of power and therefore masculine, which would have been the attitude of the time. Yeah, I don't know. Although I'm doing research and I think our souls may be gender neutral. Gender neutral, that, that's a good term. Not gender non-binary. Gender neutral. Gender stops mattering. Anyway. Um, yeah. Let's, 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 let's continue on. To the church in Peladithia. And to the angel of the church in Peladithia. Right. The words of the Holy One the true one, the one who has the key of David, and who opens and no one will shut, the one who shuts and no one opens. I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door, which no one is able to shut. I know that you have but little power, and yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. Behold, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say that they are Jews but are not, but lie, behold, I will make them come and bow down before your feet, and they will learn that I have loved you because you have kept my word. A 
about patient endurance. I will keep you from the hour of trial that is coming on the whole keep trial that is coming on the whole world to try those who dwell on the earth. I am coming soon. Hold fast what you have, so that no one may seize your crown. The one who conquers, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God. Never shall he go out of it, and I will write him on the name of my God. Write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which comes down from my God out of heaven, and my new name. He who has ear, let him hear what the Spirit has said to the churches. Okay. Okay, um So this church was good. This this church was good. Like that they were doing the right thing. Um I have no idea what to make of this. This this, this just makes it more confusing to me because yeah. A church was being praised as a whole Thing. Like, they weren't being called out on anything. People keep saying, like, I've heard historians say these are real churches at the time. And that just proves it's not it. And, and I don't know what it proves. Uh, like, and I don't know what the churches represent now. Um, I don't know anything. Like, that, that's what we're coming to conclusion, like. It was already obvious before, but now it's not. So that's fun. To the church, let's get, keep moving on. To the church in Lacedonia. And to the angel of the church in Lacedonia, right. Because these are written to the angels. They're not written to the congregation. These are written to the angels. Are the implications that the angel are corrupt? So maybe it is in the real life churches, like, oh, on a whole, this organization, this this church is actually doing really well. And it's so, like, you're not corrupt, but like, or is it being written to the angels to like be given to the, like, I thought I understood this book. And now I don't. And the thing is, this is all coming to me when it's late at night, I'm really tired. It's not even like that I'm on medication or anything and like actually focusing and understanding. I've just, I don't know. Something. I'm going to keep reading. And the, um, and the angel of the church in Lacedonia write, The words of the Amen, of the faithful and true witness, the beginning of God's creation. Quote, I know your work. You are neither cold nor hot. Wouldn't that you are either cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. For I, for you say, I am rich, I have prepared, I have prospered, I need nothing, not realising that you are wretched, plight, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold, refined by fire, so that you may be rich, and white garments so that you may clothe yourself, and shame, and the shame of your nakedness may not be seen. Those whom I love, who I reprove and disciple, so be zealous and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come to him and eat with him and he with me. The one who conquers, I will grant him to sit with me on my throne. As I also conquered and sat down with my father on his throne, he who has ear, let him hear what the Spirit has said to the churches. Are we all conquerors then? 
the implication that we were able to conquer sin? Is the implication that no human is a conqueror? Who's the conqueror then? Is it a metaphor? Is it saying he who conquers will get this, but like we don't, is it proving we don't deserve it because none of us are conquerors because we can't defeat sin? Or are we conquerors because we accepted Jesus Christ into our life? And our inheritance is heaven, which I kind of knew before, but it, it's kind of terrifying how, like, we sit down with our, his father on, but, but, but we're not God. But we're, we, are, we have the inheritance of God. We have the same inheritance as Jesus. Uh, I don't think we know what's going on. I don't think anyone knows what's going on. I would say it maybe will make sense in the morning, but I'll probably be tired then. I may have had medication, but I'll probably be, still be tired. Um, so, so this happened. Like, this, this was more like, like, this, this was written. Like, I know Revelations are wild, but I... This isn't the wild part. I'm just confused. Everyone else probably is too. But like wild shit's about that. This. I don't know the meaning of this. Like I can't even. Make heads or tails of what possibility. Yeah anyway. Um, I suppose. Bye.